Hey Sneakies, welcome back for some more Warframe on the PlayStation 4. In this episode, we're going to be introduced to the Zephyr Warframe as well as the Acrid secondary weapon. Let's head into the foundry. And here we are. I can't even tell you how good it feels to finally have 600 Oxium. It took so long. And I eventually found a pretty good strategy after tagging along with some random player on Warframe because they knew exactly which mission to go in to find a lot of them every time you play it. And we're just going to start building all three of these pieces now, and we'll have Zephyr ready to go later in this video. Pretty much any Corpus mission can spawn these Oxymospreys. I always thought that survival missions were the best ones for farming them, but it turns out defense missions are actually much, much better for it. More specifically, the one that I found was the most successful is located on Sen, it's called Kamine. And if you're looking for it, it's located on the right-hand side of the map. You'll see it pretty easily. It's all by itself. It kind of branches off of the main path. Anyways, we're skipping ahead here. Finally have all of these pieces all built. It's been 12 hours, so we're just going to start claiming all these. And then we'll head over to the actual blueprint and get that going in three days. Or later in this video, we'll have Zephyr ready to go. Oh, yes. So there's really nothing out of the ordinary for building Zephyr, you just need the helmet, the chasey, the systems, and one Orican cell. That's not really asking that much. Although asking for 600 Oxium is pretty ridiculous. But hey, that's just my opinion. Alright, so three real days we'll have Zephyr, but we're gonna have her ready to go later in the video. But not before we build this bad boy, the Acrid is located in the Clan Dojo Research Labs. And as always, with all those weapons, it requires a Forma, which is pretty sad. Pretty sad to say, I have to give up my Forma. Oh well, we'll have to find some more sneakies. And we'll have that ready to go for this intro episode too. And here we are three days later, Sneaky Zephyr is now ready to claim, so we are going to snatch her up right now. Oh yes, finally. It feels so good to finally have this Warframe. Can't even tell ya. And then, yeah, we're also going to grab the Acrid while we're here. I'm sure you caught a sneak peek at some of those upcoming weapons, too. We'll see those later in this series. And here we are. This is Zephyr. She looks pretty awesome. She's an air-based Warframe. All of her powers are based around the air element. We're going to go in and change her look around because she's not really the right color. It's not from my taste anyway. However, primarily she is black. Well, actually, it's kind of like a darkish gray, really. It's not really doing the trick for me, though. Let's see. What's going to look the best? All right, see, now that's a much darker black. We're going to go with that. Secondary is kind of like a cream color, looks like. Not really my taste. Now, we can make her pure black, which actually looks kind of cool. Or we can mix in some white. I think pure black is going... Down the path I want to go. And then we're just going to mix in some white more than likely. That's generally the look I like going with for all these Warframes. Yeah, see, it looks pretty cool. You don't want to have complete black. It's nice if you have something else mixed in. However, that pink's not really doing it for me, though. Nope, we're probably going to have to mix in a little bit of blue if white doesn't look right there. Let's see. I mean, that white doesn't look bad, but let's see how blue looks. Actually, I kind of like that. I like mixing in the blue with the black and white. Just gives it a nice little extra kick. Alright, so this will be our Zephyr for this mission. Or this episode, rather. Guess we can change her power color as well. And... Wait, what's the default one? It's like a light blue. Hmm. Alright, well, let's make it... Man, let's just leave a light blue for now. That'll work for me. Alright, so this will be our look for Zephyr in this intro episode. We're also going to make sure that we go equip our Acrid. It's going to be nice to finally drop the Wraith Twin Vipers for a significant period of time and grab something else. Can't wait to actually use this. So this will be my primary weapon that I'm going to use in this actual mission. Oh, he's holding the, she's holding the Penta. Alright, there we go. See, that looks a lot cooler. It's going to be really fun to actually use a clan weapon in this game too. 
And of course, before we begin, we have to take a quick look at her abilities, just as we always do in these intro episodes. So her starting basic ability is called Tailwind. Creates a blast of energy, propelling Zephyr through the air, damaging anything in her wake. Sounds like it's going to be pretty fun. Let's see what else she's got up her sleeve. Dive Bomb. Zephyr nose dives toward the ground, creating an explosion on contact. Sounds like some explosive fun. Tornado. Zephyr creates multiple deadly tornadoes. That's her most powerful ability. That's going to be a lot of fun to use. And Turbulence. Creates a wind shield around Zephyr, redirecting all incoming projectiles. Alright, so it sounds like she's pretty well-rounded. Can't wait to actually equip all of her abilities, but just as we always do in these intro episodes, we're going to stick with her starting ability only. So here we go, Sneakies. And of course, we're going to do Terminus again. We can't go too far in or it's going to be ridiculously hard and just completely pointless, really. So Zephyr's going to tackle an Exterminate, Grenier Faction. Their level will only be one, so this should be really simple, and she's going to acrid their faces. Don't forget to click like, Sneakies, if you enjoy this series. The more likes we get, the faster these videos keep pouring out. And also hit subscribe so you don't have to miss another video in this series ever again in the future. As always, I do hope you enjoy as we watch Zephyr create some real crazy chaos with the wind. Infiltrated! Alright, and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to complete that challenge because I'm not going to use my melee weapon. I'm only going to stick with the acrid. Whoops. Yes, with the... Damn it. Alright, there we go. The acrid and also Tailwind. Let's go find our first victim. We're going to see how fun this is to use. Oh, yes. Oh, that's pretty nice. Nice little change up. I'm sure it actually specifically is... More well suited for a particular faction, just like everything else in the game is. I could be mistaken, but I think it's actually supposed to be used against the infested. I could be wrong. Not entirely positive. But all I know is it's working pretty well here. We've got to use Tailwind, though. Here we go. Come on, who wants a Tailwind? You do? Oh, <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Obviously, it's not really that useful in this little tight and closed space, though. Uh, this thing's not really a sniping weapon. Not that I was really expecting it to be, but still. Oh, yes! Acrid level 1, nice. Let's use another Tailwind, though. Just for the heck of it. Oh, I guess that's actually more of a, an ability to get up to an unreachable place. There's actually a lot of Warframes in this game that have an ability like that, surprisingly. You have Excalibur Super Jump, you have... Valkyr's rip line, you have... Whoa, 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 who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? That's right. Just another dead Grenier. Right. Let's keep going. We got 11 down, only 39 total here. Bam, bam! Hopefully this thing's gonna be a lot more powerful as I level it up. I mean, naturally, it's going to be more powerful. The question is, how powerful will it be? Is it going to be something that's actually worthwhile to keep? I mean, I really don't plan on getting rid of anything. But still, I may not actually use it in the future. All right, so Zephyr is up to level 1, too. Not bad. This thing has a pretty nice size clip, 15. Looks like it inflicts some poison damage, too, so that's always a nice little bonus. It's really her other abilities that are going to come in the most use, like the Tornado ability. I see Zephyrs using that all the time when I actually see them. It's pretty rare to find them because of how annoying it is to collect the Oxium to actually build her. Well, that's good for holding down an area and seems to do crowd control pretty well. Obviously not the best, but works pretty well from what I've seen. I have to actually use it firsthand to really be able to truly comment on it. What do you think you are, you little butcher? Butcher your face with some acid. Just ask these guys how that's going. Want some in your face too? Oh yeah, there we go. Aw, he didn't turn into it. Aw, what a ripoff. Get, get back here. Oh, nice. 
Oh, you'll occasionally see me become invisible because I have the Shade Sentinel on and one of its abilities actually turns you invisible to help with stealth purposes. Just in case you're wondering why I keep randomly disappearing, it's not Zephyr's ability. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, now this looks like a better area to try out her Tailwind in. Good night. See how it works out. Yeah, see, it's not really much of much use right now, but I'm sure it's going to be in the future. It actually kind of feels like doing a super jump with Excalibur, from what I recall. I haven't used that in a long time. And I never leveled it up either, so I don't even know how good it actually can propel you up in the air. I'm sure it's got to be pretty high. I think the real purpose to Tailwind, though, is to use it to get up in the air, and then you can use the Die Bomb attack. I've seen people actually mention that specifically. She's actually kind of a, not really a super useful Warframe right now. They probably have to bump up her actual attacking power or whatnot. She's not really one for going out and killing a lot of people, I guess. Like, she can be good in a supporting role with her tornado ability and all that, but... From what I understand, she's not really great for going out on solo missions or anything. Bam, 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 oh! A little bit of Matrix action mixed in. Damn it! Ah, come on! There we go, I killed him while I was diving, that's what I was trying to do. Yes! And as I fall to my death, ha <laughs> Man, I have way too much fun in this game. Oh, damn it, did I run out of ammo with this? I accidentally pulled out the Penta. <laughs> Whoopsie. There we go. Alright, that's all 39 enemies. That is a mission complete as soon as we get to the extraction point. Alright, so I'm not really sure how I feel about Zephyr just yet. I'm sure she's going to be a lot more fun after I get all her real abilities in there. Do I actually have to hack this? I hope not. Hacking just like a minor little inconvenience. I don't really like it. Hate its face. Here we go. When you reach this point of any mission, you know you're about to extract. It always looks like this in this particular tile set. Bam, bam, bam. And mission complete. Alright, so the Acker got up to rank 2, Zephyr got up to rank 2, so not too shabby of a start. Actually helped because I have an affinity booster on currently. Alright. Wow, it only says 24 melee kills this time instead of 37. Normally it says my total kills were all melee kills. Alright, so it's improving at least. Anyway, Sinkies, I do hope you enjoyed this Zephyr intro. If you want to see more of her in the future and you want to see more videos in this series in general, don't forget to click like and also hit subscribe to become a Sinky today. That way you can continue to follow the series in the future and never miss another video in it ever again. I want more of you to appear in these videos, so leave me a comment below if you want to appear in them and also add me on PSN so I know of your interest in doing so. And finally, use the comment section to find other people to play with. Warframe is so much more fun when you play a co-op. And I'll see you next time for some more Warframe on the PlayStation 4.